Hello and welcome to the General Checks video tutorial for EasyLaw. Write General Checks is used to pay firm expenses or client disbursements. You can distribute a single check to multiple clients and or general ledger accounts. It is important that if your firm pays taxes that the taxes paid are correctly recorded. Taxes are calculated based on the tax settings on the disbursement codes used when entering transactions. Therefore, use a non-taxable code for non-taxable check transactions and a taxable code for taxable check transactions. Default codes that are commonly used in general checks are 0, 998, and 999. Code 0, 998, and 999 are internal codes that are used in both disbursement entry and firm checks when a unique description must be entered. Code 0 is used for transactions subject to tax and the tax is included in the amount entered. EasyLaw will display the tax included with the option to edit the amount as necessary. Code 998 is used for transactions subject to tax at billing but the tax is not included in the amount entered. This includes non-taxable transactions that are paid without tax but must be charged to clients with tax. Code 999 is used for non-taxable transactions. If your firm does not charge tax, these set tax settings will not apply to your firm. You can also use other disbursement codes in general checks. Just make sure that the tax settings are correct for your transaction. General checks credit the bank account and debit the expense or work in progress disbursements account. Click Write General Checks to proceed. If you have selected print checks in system settings, the print after posting box will be marked. You can change this if you do not wish to print your checks. Select the general bank account number or press F5 to display a list to choose from. The cursor will skip over the payment type as the default is check, but you can change this using your mouse and clicking in the field and pressing F5 to display a list to choose from. Enter the check number or press enter to accept the next check number. Enter the date of your general check entry or press enter for today's date. Enter the payee or select from a list of predefined payees. If you type the first few characters of the payee name, matching names will display. Addresses of predefined payees will fill in automatically if they have already been entered. Click Payee Addresses at the bottom of the screen to edit the list of predefined payees and their addresses. Enter the total check amount. Select either Client or GL. Enter either the Client or the GL or press F5 to display a list to choose from. Enter a disbursement code or press F5 to display a list to choose from. If you wish to type a unique description for the check, use either code 0, 998 or 999 based on whether or not you are paying taxes on the current check. Press enter to accept the total amount of the check or enter the amount to be distributed to the client or general ledger account. If you do not accept the total check amount, the cursor will return so that you can enter another client or general ledger account until the full amount of the check has been distributed. The balance remaining will display on the lower left hand side of the screen until the entire total check amount has been distributed to clients and or general ledger accounts. Click Save. Continue entering transactions as necessary. You can access the Unposted tab to edit and delete your transactions. Remember that you can exit without posting and continue entering transactions at a later time. 
click Post to finish. If you have selected to print checks, the print checks window will display. The bank account and range of checks will display based on the previously posted transactions. You only need to edit this information if you are not printing all of the checks entered. Optionally, you can select to not print check numbers on the checks. Click View to view the checks before printing or put the check forms in your printer and click Print. You will be prompted to remove the checks after selecting Exit. This will only remove the checks from the printing file. To remove checks, select a bank account or choose All. Click Remove Printed Checks to remove only the checks just printed or select Remove All Checks to remove all checks for the selected banks. Click Exit to close the print check screen without removing checks. Checks are removed only for your username. Checks entered by other users are not affected. General Checks automatically defaults to Enter, noted above the Bank Account field, but you can also reverse previously posted general checks that have not been reconciled. Simply click Reverse, followed by the Bank Account, and then select the Trust Check to Reverse. The entry will display on the screen where you have the option to specify the reversal date or leave the date the same as the original trust check and then save the reversal. Thank you for watching the General Checks video tutorial. To learn how to change your check printing template, please watch the Modify Check Template video tutorial.